We'll be chatting to a panel about the portrayal of women and girls in the entertainment industry. We'll be uh, speaking uh, to filmmakers, we'll be speaking to uh, film directors, we'll be speaking to fine art artists, we'll be speaking to uh, a scholar in feminism and a social um, studies lecturer about what is the situation in South Africa and uh, how are we portraying uh, women and girls and what are the impediments if at a if at all now south africa is a country with a rich and diverse history yet many groundbreaking moments haven't been properly recorded this could also change as the oral history program run by the department of arts and culture bears fruit <laughs> A breathing piece of flesh with a color that fits into the colors of nature. Dark as the soil and colorless like the rays of the sun. A simple black child, a symbol of perfection. South Africa, a nation of storytellers. In a country with a diverse history from apartheid to the deadly coronavirus pandemic. You can starve it, you can humiliate it, you can dishonor it, but it will rise and shine like a morning star. Refule Peters tells stories through poems, an important way to promote, record and preserve oral history. Many great South African stories, however, still need to be put on paper. There is so much to be done. There are so many stories untold. And I think it is all of us as a collaborative, as a country, as a society, to take it upon ourselves as a responsibility. And for any efforts to be successful, it needs to reflect the country in its entirety. The greatest failure of a democracy is when the democracy does not represent all its people. Although government has made huge strides to record history, it is up to each individual to keep their own stories alive. We don't consider the majority of South Africa. Therefore, we, we have not done enough. In short, we have not done enough, but we have got a great work to do. We also appreciate the efforts of the state to, to, to create an enabling environment because the state has given us the rights to use our languages. It is our choice. And when, when we ignore the rights that are in the constitution and the rights that are extended to us and we choose other rights. It is our, our greatest mistake. The Department of Arts and Culture has been mandated by cabinet to lead the national oral history program in the country. This seeks to yield information that will be added to those already existing in the country's archives in the northwest work has already started. Our history in a way um, died. That's why I'm saying the department is trying to because culture is known as time goes on. We even forgot ourselves. No one told our story. No one was actually uh, have an appetite to telling our people about our story as to how Africans survived from so many things that were happening back then. Because even if uh, it, there was an apartheid, but we were able to say we are going to stand up on our own and no one is telling us about that. And while government is busy cementing history, it remains the responsibility of everyone to keep stories alive. We are the resemblance of nature. Come on now, go on, black child. Live on and be proud. Fly, black child. Bafetile Moirani, SBC News, Rustenburg.